Have you ever noticed that the genealogy of Jesus in Matthew and Luke is different, how do we explain this? Actually there is no contradiction here because one is a lineage from Mary's side while the other one is from Joseph's side. And it was the custom among the Jews to mention a genealogy by using the father's name even though it was obvious that the lineage was drawn from the mother's side, but what is the proof of this conclusion? Number 1. The genealogy in Luke goes from Adam to David while Matthew starts from Abraham to David. When the two of them got to David, there was a separation of the names of David's sons who were mentioned, Nathan, from the genealogy of Mary, and Solomon, from the genealogy of Joseph. Number 2. Luke did not address his gospel to the Jews while Matthew wrote it to the Jews. For this reason, Matthew had to use official genealogies, from Abraham to David, to emphasize Jesus' Jewish heritage, whereas Luke wanted to show that Jesus was truly a perfect human and that his genealogy can be traced back even to Adam. Apart from that, Luke also wanted to convey that Jesus was the fulfillment of the prophecy that God had promised from the very beginning when humans fell into sin that this woman's offspring would crush the head of the snake. Number 3. The placement of the main character in the narrative written by Matthew is Joseph, while the main character in the narrative written by Luke is Mary. Matthew's narrative is mostly about events related to Joseph, while Luke's narrative is mostly about Mary. In the first two chapters of Luke's Gospel, the name Mary appears twelve times, but the name Joseph only three times. So the genealogy written by Luke is most likely the genealogy of Mary. Number 4. In Luke 3 verse 23 it says now Jesus himself was about thirty years old when he began his ministry. He was the son, so it was thought, of Joseph, the son of Heli. The use of the phrase, so it was thought, shows that this genealogy is indeed sequenced from Mary's side because this phrase shows that Jesus was not the biological son of Joseph. So when Luke lists Joseph as Heli's son, it means that Joseph was Heli's son-in-law. So that's the explanation. Don't keep this truth to yourself, share it with your friends so they also understand this truth. Thanks and God bless.